Welcome back to Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. We, in this episode, will cover the Sea of Titans, and we'll see if we can progress a little further, although we might have to head back to the Ark. So we just entered the zone from the high road, and we actually can branch off up to here, to this level 35, or House of Bones, our kind of priority um, area that we're going to head to. Off the bat, just orienting myself, I'm pretty sure there was scrap over here to the right. Looks like I was mistaken there. Hammond told me he wanted to cross a big body of water oh, to get to a- there it is. It is right in front of you. So this is a loot chest. You're gonna get Kiss Me Quick. Plus 20% critical chance when hidden. A place called the ha I think... What is this? From high ground? I think we're gonna actually swap this one out. Um... So we're gonna try to hide her and then use her to silent kill. We are gonna look for another silent weapon to throw on Borman. It's always good to have a secondary silent weapon on all your characters, ideally. There's a note, Stalker Anton note. So this is re really weird. Whilst me and the crew were on an expedition up to the north, we found a strange artifact that we believe was used to keep things cold. But it was sitting in the old palace to the east of the House of Bones, which is a permanent state of cold anyways. The ancients were a strange bunch. Stalker Anton. Alright. We want that med kit. Want as many med kits as possible. One thing that's important to note is when you have the flashlight, things will be a little more shiny, which will allow you to pick them up. I keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. Alright, so we're going to do a silent takedown. Marauder. Is that all you got? Alright. Duckman. Ducks. Let's finish him off. Now it's important that you take him out because if we miss, there are a bunch of high level tiered guys over there to the, Stone to the left. Um, which will make it a bad day for us. So, we'll run around here, actually run into this building. Another note message to a uh, number. Eric, I need you to gather the children and take the next ferry without me. I will join you at the shelter very soon. My phone car is on going through, so I pray that the, you receive this message. The soldiers have told those of us who have the red eye infection to wait on the dock until the medic has checked us. Please look after Lucas and Freya and tell them I love you all so much. Tina. Oh no. We had another note in the cave up there. In the Away cave of fear to ship, Tina. My children from Your Jonas. Destiny awaits. We believe, Reverend. We believe. Yeah! Hear my voice within your heads. The Ark calls you ghouls, but you are beautiful. Alright, so another takedown, which we're going to cancel because I did not regroup. Alright, now that we've regrouped, we're going to want to move here. He's going to see us. We have Firehouse and Selma. Can you finish him off? Thank you. Piece of junk. No, I think gloves, they're right? yeah, they're guys up there. So you want to turn your light off. You do want to head back here. There are um, there is some scrap. And the question here is, if we 
the ambush. Only 50%. So we're going to exit combat, unfortunately um, we will have to clear these guys out and get on the ferry. Now these guys are higher level up here, you have a sect hunter who's a pain to kill and you have another guy who's even a bigger pain to kill. Before we even consider taking them on or trying to sneak past them, I do want to run up here because I think there's some more scrap and other weapon parts that I want to show you guys. Your thoughts are sinful. Give me your brain so I may lead you into salvation. Making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. So it sounds like that's. for a trip so that packing for the trip comment was coming from um, hold on. we're gonna see if we can take this guy out so ducks <laughs> and then Selma So we got one. There's at least another one on the the thing over there. You have to be aware of. Now the question is: Get over First, let's here. regroup. We have a sec hunter, and then the marauder is pathing. So if you wait, the marauder will path away, and then you can ambush him. Which you want to do because you want to take him out one at a time. So I'm just making sure. going to exit combat, so you always want to check, make sure that all your characters can get into range. Alright, so 100%, 100%, we're going to lead here, because we know ducks can move up. Alright, ducks, we need to get uh, Borman a silent weapon. So we'll either have to purchase one Nighty night. or I find one. That asshole. Come back and here. regroup. Alright, so we're gonna level up guys. Let's take a minute. Ducks can now get moth wings. You have the ability to grow wings on your back. This enables you to move vertically and hover in position, giving you a tactical advantage over enemies beneath you. This also allows you to get to high places which normally would be out of reach. And if we look at his inventory, we do have it equipped, which is fantastic. Alright, so Borman, we have three points. Can destroy covers, knock out, knocks out enemies for one turn. Summon untapped and extraordinary primal strength, then charge into your enemies, even through walls. Enemies hit by you are knocked out for one turn. So we definitely want this one. And Unfortunately, we can only have one or the other of these. Um, that's how it works. You have to kind of pick. Um, and you can see the shape. So, like, when you look at the inventory here, you see the shape. This, uh, is this a hexagon? Yeah. So this one and this one, we have to pick between them. Um, circle, you have to pick between this one and either of these. And then square, 
the remaining ones. So you can see here these are both square. So I did a poor job in picking both. What I should have done is keep Joker, take the extra point to save her hog rush. So don't make that mistake, guys. Just wanted to point that out. All right, so we're doing well. We're level 11. We took out the Marauder, so now we can... Um, so you are hiding. I'm going to see if we can... Um, Well, let me see something here. Do we have... So you can see here it says silent. So this is silent. This is definitely not silent. Well... In our inventory, we don't have anything. So we are going to not be able to take that Spread guy out. out. Hey guys, come here. And because of that, <coughs> I'm actually going to head back, guys. To the ark. And I'll show you why. I think we have enough scrap. We might not, in which case I'll look fairly foolish. I'm happy that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume, the Rat Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the ancients. We don't worship the ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on a mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, Shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Some words of advice from the Elder. Thank you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. It does raise some eyebrows and questions. Now we're going to head to Iridia's shop. Way north of here, I mean way north, there is a place that was once the grub hall of the ancients. Ancients came from far and wide to eat their special god grub at this place. Grub gave them their powers. Want to know what they call this place? Pizzeria. Thank you for that, Iridia. Um, pipe gun. Whoa. Chem flare. 10% critical chance. Can get some pyro armor. EMP grenade. Um, no, and the reason no is I don't, is this, I don't, uh, I don't I... think that's silent, I thought it was a silent weapon. Ghouls are one thing, but the Nova Sector are a whole other.
another level. There's some strange cult that promises the ghouls eternal whatever, as long as they work as their slaves. They say they hear the voices of the ancients. Eh, well, maybe they do. Years of breathing that zone air gave the Novasek telepathic powers. At least, that's what I've heard. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so we have another option here. We can also upgrade our weapons. Um, plus 30 added one additional critical. So we're going to add in our, I think this is a Neoton piece. And then yes, no. Hold on. Let's take a second. Oh. Screwed on. We'll take a second here to reevaluate, guys. This is kind of getting the strategy. I know <coughs> we want to get into action. So the Gaper does six damage. The crossbow does four. The Ancient does four, and Scatter Gun does five. So. If we upgrade this, plus one damage at level two, there's no kind of pieces. So I think right now I'm going to upgrade the crossbow. So we do five damage. I'm going to upgrade the Selma's gun, the ancient pistol. I wonder if we would have been better off. Oh no, it just goes to six, so it's another one. So those two are pretty strong, on. which is important. Let's check up preps. Good to see you again. So we can get uh, an extra grenade slot, extend crew bleed out time, pyromania adds plus one fire damage to mol molotovs per turn. Um, I think. We want Ranger, we want Medic, uh, we're going to have to get Pyromania, so we're going to save for now, unlocks extra grenade spots, tough guy might be helpful, but if we uh, play our cards right, we hopefully won't have to bleed out that much. So having upgraded, we're going to head back to the Sea of Titans, and we're going to see if we can take out that remaining, uh, I think it's Sect Hunter up there. Alright, so we are heading this way. I just want to make sure, yeah, I think we've picked up everything over there. Apologies for the sidebar there, we needed to upgrade and uh, increase our damage. We are going to be in for a tough fight up here, I think, unless we can somehow um, isolate all the bad guys and pick them off one by one which is what we are trying to do here now let's see gonna actually use skull splitter I did that what do you think nice. about that huh Selma run in there Them off. Now I don't know if this will alert everybody. It might. Stay down. Cleanly done. All right. Luckily, it did not. Ancient eye plus critical hit chance. It's a scope from that hunter on his gun. I think there was yeah scrap over here. Hand grenade. Let's regroup. 
Alright, so being up here, the question is can we? I don't think we can because of the barbed wire. Nope. I was going to try to see if he could kind of circumvent those other guys. Now there is a there's something down there. Let's see if we can sneak past these guys because they are pretty high level. I just want to take one quick look here. We are going to save for hog rush. So two more points. So we have a sec pyro. I'm going to try to sneak past these guys. to sneak past these guys. So Brother Bowden is pathing away. He's pathing back. I'm gonna take our time and do this right. I've actually not gotten to this point in my test run. So we are sciencing it as we go. that extra armor. Whoa. Just want to get onto the boat, man. I think he's going to walk further down, so we'll be patient. Patience is a vir virtue. Yeah, there it was. So you guys can see that you can sneak past it. Now, we're going to head up. So heading up there will kind of, I think, take us to the next zone, which is fantastic. But I also would like to see if we can take this guy out. Alright, so he's got the high ground. Um, let's see if we can run around them and then we're going to explore down there since I have not checked out that content. Common scrap. Come on guys. Alright. Scrap. Guys, come here. Remember, always remind them to regroup. Chem flare. Saw those in the shop. Some more scrap over here. I don't think we can get this stuff over there. Scrap here. We're gonna run through the middle. 
evac control key. I think that'll be important later. So make sure you grab that, guys. What is this? Some tools. Alright. Well, that, my friends, is how we do it. I believe we just cleared the Sea Titans. We'll be back and taking the, to take those guys out once we're a uh, higher level. Alright, so with the boat, we are now at House of Bones. This is a, a lawless, never-ending wasteland littered with hazardous ancient ruins, roaming gangs, and nameless horrors. Then on top of all that, there's the rot, which taints everything it comes into contact with. So, we just cleared Sea of Titans. We did luckily upgrade. We still need a silent weapon for Borman. So we can do that triple hit silent weapon. I didn't catch what you were saying back there, Selma. Where was Hammond going? The House of Bones. We're almost there. Then why, pray tell, do they call it the House of Bones? It's a big house full of dead people. Oh, fantastic. Borman, don't lie to me. You do not want to be doing this right now. What I want and what I need are two different things. We need to find Hammond. So shut up and get your head in the game. We are taking our time uh, to explore. Like I said, my test campaign, I did not get this far, so we are in uncharted territory. We're going to scout out most of the House of Bones, um, and then we'll call this an episode. I don't know if I will complete this zone completely. I'll take my time in my test campaign to clear everything out so we get the common scrap weapon parts here. It does behoove you to explore to make a very big difference. The note here. Red Plague Protocol. Do not enter. Offenders will be shot on site. If you are experiencing the following symptoms, report immediately to the quarantine area in Draughton Gotten. Red blisters on skin, high body temperature, nerve spasms, paranoia, blood and eyes. If unable to reach this location, stay indoors and call the number for assistance. Interesting. We have a structure here. Let's check this out. We do have a protocol key. Can we not get in here? I don't think we can get in there. Alright, so... So cold up in these parts, I can't feel my beak. Yeah, I've never been this far north before. I feel cold to the bone. Alright, so we want to head that way. Um, we're just exploring, guys. Staying on the outskirts. Let's see what there is to see. power. That. Do you feel it? Let us now gather at the sacred site for the ritual sacrifice. Uh oh. Oh, oh. That guy's level 20. It has a red skull. So there's no way we can beat him. So we're not even going to yeah. try. That's why they call it the House of Bones. That guy's also level 20. Oh, the House of Bones. What a nice inviting place. These signs are a lovely touch. Hmm. That building there? The House of Bones. It was a fortress full of tiny flesh-eating monsters called Stu-Dens. They came here every day to learn how to become bigger monsters. 
Now you hear the story. I don't hear the story. I see the story. I went inside and I saw all these drawings of monsters and, and flying machines and, and gross stuff. Scary stuff. I would love... The fallen machine did not contain the sacred numbers. But fear not, my children. The machine led a stalker to us. A smart stalker whose mind holds the secrets we need! The mm. smart stalker <coughs> will show us where the sacred numbers are kept! Ah, ah, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Tonight, we will sacrifice his companion's life! The Ark has spilled our blood! Tonight, we spill their blood! A I do not like the... who hunts my children. Now he is the hunted. He is the sacrifice. I do not like the sound of that at all. So it sounds like him and, and his partner have been recaptured. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we're trying to figure out how to get over to that crash site. There is a chest in there. Dare we get greedy, guys? Why do we have to stay and watch the ugly park, man? They can't keep Never us mind. here. I want to party too. Yeah, yeah, we party. We can party on this man's face. Cut it real quick. <laughs> Wouldn't make his face uglier, would it? This man fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> That's not a good ugly hark man. <laughs> Oh, they're on the move. I don't see anybody. I don't think we can cross over there. And I'm trying to figure out... The MP grenade. How the heck we get over there? Without fighting these guys. We might call this an episode. We are stuck in the House of Bones. Um, investigate the crash site, which is right up there.
Hmm. It's a mystery. Well, we will continue this in the next episode. I'm going to take some time to figure out how the best way to do that is. Thank you guys for watching. We'll pick this up in the next episode. We are at the House of Bones, part one. Check in for part two on how we can help find Hammond and free him and his partner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.